C1 is charged by closing switch S1. So we close the switch S1. When I close the switch S1, I end up with Now S1 is closed, but this is still open. So charge will flow to here, and then end up with some positive charge here and negative charge on this plate. But no charge flows here, all right, because of the open switch. So C1 will be charged, but C2 has no charge on it, because no charge can flow here to this lower plate. Now, how much charge is there? This is 12 volts. So the potential difference between this point and this point is 12 volts. The point here is connected to the positive terminal. The point here is connected to the negative terminal. So the potential difference across the capacitor is 12 volts. And the capacitance is 20 microfarads. So we end up with. So S1 closed, S2 open. What do we have? We have charge, OK, on C1, on this one, C1, is equal to charge on C1, Q. Q is equal to C times V, C1 the capacitance times the potential difference. C1 is 20 microfarads, and V1 is 12 volts. So this is 240 microfarad volt. The farad volt is the coulombs, so this is 240 microcoulombs. So this is a charge on the first capacitor in this situation. Now what we do is we open S1 and close S2. So now we, we do this. Now S1 is open, but S2 is closed. With S1 open, the battery basically is out of the picture. However, now I started with, with some positive charge here. So the, the positive charge here and the negative charge here, positive charge now, it cannot flow here. There's no flow here anymore because of the open circuit. But a positive charge can flow to here. So I'll end up with some positive charge here. And the negative charge will flow now, because this is closed, will flow here. So I'll end up with some negative charge here. So whatever positive charge we had here, the 240 microcoulombs, it's redistributed now. Part of it is here, part of it is and the minus 240 microcoulombs is also redistributed, part here, part there. So, so the question is, how much charge is on each one? We know that the sum must still be 240. So if I call this, I have this point A and this point B. Let me call the charge on this one Q1, and the charge on this one is Q2. So I know that Q1 plus Q2 is 240 microcoulombs. 
because I started with 240 and it's simply redistributed between, now it's divided between the two upper plates. And the minus 240 is divided among the two, or between the two lower plates. But what else do I know? What is VA minus VB? VA minus VB, between A and B, I have this capacitor, C1, with charge Q1. So VA minus VB is Q1 over C1. But also, between A and B, I also have the capacitor C2 with charge Q2. So VA minus VB also is Q2 over C2. So VA minus VB is also Q2 over C2. So Q1 over C1 is Q2 over C2. Now, so Q1 over 20, C1 is 20 microfarads, is Q2 over 10 microfarads. This means that Q1 is 2Q2. So Q1 is 2Q2, and the sum is 240, Q1 plus Q2 is 240. So what is Q1? Two-thirds of the 240. And Q2 is one-third. So Q1 is 160 microcoulombs, Q1, and Q2 is 80 microcoulombs. See, they add up to 240, and Q1 is twice Q2. That ends the...